Google VO3 just came out with a massive update. It now allows you to use images as references to create brand new videos inside of Google VO3. Recently, I made a Google VO3 video training on my channel. Now that breaks down the text to image generation, but in this video, I'm gonna talk about the big change that Google VO3 came out with and how you can make videos like these. You can turn any image into a full video using this new Google VO3 update that I'll show you how to use. You can now create characters like me and animate them using Google VO3 and Alaric's tutorial. Defeat outdated marketing by subscribing to Alaric's YouTube channel now. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you can make videos like that using the new updates to Google VO3. So let's hop over to my computer screen and I'm gonna show you how this works. Now, as an example of what we can do, we can take an image still like this and actually turn that into a video. Now, you're, we're doing all of this inside of Google VO3, which is inside of Flow. So you gotta go to labs.google.com slash flow, create with Flow, and then sign up for either a Google uh, Gemini Pro or Gemini Ultra account. I'm using an Ultra account to have more access to create videos, but you can choose which plan makes the most sense for you. All right, so what we're gonna be able to do is inside of Google Flow, we're going to create a new project. So we're gonna go ahead and click Create New Project. And then instead of text to video, which we're gonna show you in this video is how to use the frames to video feature, which Google just added to Google VO3. In the past, this was only available to Google VO2 and some of the earlier models but this is a really valuable feature because this allows you to take any still image or even an image you generate yourself, which I'm also gonna show you how to do in this video, by the way, to turn it into an animated video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna choose frames to video. Then we're gonna go and grab a specific frame. For instance, in this case, we can use this frame of me sitting here at the desk. Now, this is pretty cool because it allows me to add AI into a regular video. I can have AI manipulate a part of a video at the beginning and then just cut to the real video clip of me. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type out a prompt and I'll show you exactly what I did. All right, so what I did is I uploaded that image and then I added this prompt. Have this person's clothing quickly transform into the super suit described below. Then he says you can turn any image into a full video using this new Google VO3 update I'll show you how to use. And then I put a description of the clothing super suit. I added some details about my voice and I also made sure to say, please do not include any subtitles or captions in this video and make this video very high quality as if it was a professional grade video. I found adding those prompts just adds a little bit of extra pieces. So then what I wanna make sure is of course, this is on frames to video, my image is added, my details are here, by the way, you can also add a last frame if you want as well. We'll show you how that works in just a second. And then from there, we wanna go over here to settings and then make sure that the model is on Google VO3 quality. That's gonna give you the best quality. And I either like to do two or four outputs at once. In this case, let's go ahead and do two outputs. All right, so here's what we got. Let's take a look. You can turn any image into a full video using this new Google VO3 update that I'll show you how to use. That is great. So as you can see, it was able to take that initial image and then animate me and even add in the features like having that super suit appear magically. There are so many possibilities for what you can use this for, especially with that ability to use the start frame. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can also create not just a start frame, but you can also add an end frame. What that'll allow you to do is let you go from one scene to another scene, and you can even control the camera by choosing different modes for the camera to go up, down, move around different images. As you can see, this is actually gonna give you a lot more capability to choose exactly what you want to show and what you want the camera to do inside of that video. Now I actually wanna show you how you can create your own images and your own characters that you can then create inside of Google VO3. So you don't have to just upload your own frame here, which you can do by going and uploading. What you can also do is generate images. Now this is gonna allow you to create text to image to create any image you want. All right, so we've got a few different versions. This isn't exactly what I was looking for, uh, but this, uh, this looks pretty good. So some of these, um, let's actually, hmm, I'm curious about taking this one. So I'm gonna use this image, use this image right here. All right, so here's the prompt that I put in. Create a scene where the astronaut is floating through space while a YouTube-themed spaceship flies behind him. And have him say, you can now create characters like me 
and animate them using Google VO3 and Alrix tutorial. And then I put in the details about the person's voice, do not include any subtitles, and I added the details of making this video very high quality as if it was a professionally animated video. All right, so let's go ahead and create the videos, making sure it's on Google VO3 quality. All right, so let's take a look at how this turned out. As you can see, we've got the first frame here, which is this cartoon image that we generated in Google VO3. Let's see how it turns out. You can now create characters like me and animate them using Google VO3 and Alaric's tutorial. Wow, that is really exciting. You can see that you can actually create animations just like that inside of Google VO3 with this new update. Now, I'm gonna show you another really cool feature that allows you to actually create longer videos than eight seconds by using something called scenes. This is gonna be really cool, but if you found this video valuable so far, please give it a like, share it with somebody else that will enjoy it as well, and leave a comment down below. How are you gonna use Google VO3 to create AI-generated videos? All right, so here's what I did. I generated an image of an outdated marketing monster fighting against me as a superhero. And then I described the voice, I added in uh, to not include subtitles, and that it's a professional video. And then once we render this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually turn this into a scene. Now, as a reminder, you can actually add an end scene here, or you can add camera movements as well. We're not gonna do that for this video, but those are also things that you can do inside of your video as well. But what I will show you is how you can actually add scenes and extend the video beyond eight seconds. All right, let's take a look at how this video turned out. Who needs AI? The future is here. Your days of holding entrepreneurs back are over. All right, so let's say I wanted to take the ending of this and turn it into another scene. Well, what I can do is I can click Add to Scene, and then I can actually use the ending frame to generate a new video where I can either extend or jump to, jump to another scene or extend this existing scene. All right, so now we're gonna have this jump to feature and it's gonna start with the last frame of the previous video. All right, so as you can see, there's now another continuation of the video that starts with that last uh, scene. So let's see what it all looks like together. Who needs AI? The future is here. Your days of holding entrepreneurs back are over. So again, it's not perfect, but it's kind of funny. It's interesting. They're throwing there. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and actually even trim this clip. So I don't know if I actually like the whole clip. So let's see what we can do here. A couple of those. And then I think what we can do is cut that right there. And so now that can be the next frame. So you can see we actually edit it right here inside of Google VO3. By the way, this is the future. This is just gonna get better and better and better. So make sure that you subscribe and turn on notifications so you do not miss new updates. This Google VO3 update came fast and we're here to give you all of the updates with AI videos, marketing, and more. So let's now finish this out with a final scene. Let's go ahead and click the plus button and jump to. And I typed another prompt here where the superhero pulls out his phone with the YouTube play button logo on the screen. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Defeat outdated marketing by subscribing to Alaric's YouTube channel now. I like it. Now, the other thing is if you actually have it render a couple different versions, you can choose different variations and see what those look like. So let's take a look at the other variation. Defeat outdated marketing by subscribing to Alaric's YouTube channel now. So that version is definitely not as good as this version. That's why we create multiple versions to see which one works. Now, there's a couple little glitches here. But I think that's fine for right now. So now what we can do is we can click this video and go ahead and export and download it. And then we have a video that's longer than eight seconds long with Google VO3 that starts with each individual frame. So this is just the newest update with Google VO3, but they have many more on the horizon. So make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications so you stay up to date. Also, be sure to check out the video that I made on how to use Google VO3's text to video feature. I cover some of my core prompts, how you can utilize those and start creating AI ad hooks in minutes. So go ahead and click that link in the cards and the description down below, and I will see you in the next video.